I want to thank everybody for coming this morning, and I'm so happy to welcome you to Centenary College. My name is David Orr. I have the privilege of serving as the Director of Athletics uh, at my alma mater um, and, uh, and leading an exceptional uh, group of student athletes, coaches, athletic personnel, um, as they continue the tradition of athletic excellence that spans more than 120 years here at Centenary College. I hope if you haven't already, take an opportunity to kind of stroll down over here on the table, um, Centenary Athletics Memory Lane, courtesy of our college archives. You may even recognize a few of today's attendees in their younger years. I wanna especially recognize and thank former Centenary gents uh, and current New York Mets pitcher Seth Lugo, who is in the audience today. Um, I want to also recognize uh, Centenary basketball great uh, Cherokee Roan, who's also in the audience today. And our newest inductee into the Centenary Athletic Hall of Fame, a uh, wonderful lady. Uh, gymnast Debbie Bailey Spencer is in the audience today, so thank you. And thank you for joining us this morning during our homecoming week and welcome back. Our athletic alumni and current student athletes truly live out the centenary motto, forward, forward. We've invited all of you here today to share the news of the college's next big step forward and it is my great pleasure to introduce the 31st president of Centenary College, Dr. Christopher L. Holloman, to tell you more. Thank you, David, and thanks again to everyone for being here on this truly historic day. As David mentioned, Centenary has both a rich athletic history and a, and a dynamic athletic scene in the present. Our current student athletes proudly represent the college in NCAA Division III competition. 17 of our 19 teams compete in the Southern Collegiate Athletic Conference, the SCAC, our ladies gymnastics team, uh, which as we've just heard is the college team of 1984 Olympic medalist Kathy Johnson, as well as our guest today, Debbie Bailey Spencer. They compete in the Midwest Independent Conference against Division I, II, II and III teams and hold their own, uh, including the current national champion in the uneven parallel bars. Our men's lacrosse team, uh, is, which is growing and, and finding new success, uh, just restarted a few years ago, uh, a couple of years ago, and they compete in the Heartland Collegiate uh, Lacrosse Conference. Athletics is so important to Centenary. Uh, it's important because of the number of students that are part of that program. About 60% of Centenary's students are student athletes. They study in almost all of our academic majors, 25 academic majors, and they are true leaders on campus. They're leaders in student government, student organizations, the arts, and many accomplishments on the field of play. And we know from national data for years and years and years that student athletes, on average, perform better in the classroom than their other peers because of the skills they learn in time management and, and discipline and other so critical life skills. They not only enrich our campus community, but they also volunteer in Shreveport, Bossier City with a variety of organizations, partnerships with elementary schools, other great uh, initiatives. Because of the countless opportunities athletic competition presents to our student athletes to exercise leadership, push themselves to achieve and work through challenges, Intercollegiate athletics truly is part of Centenary's mission, our mission statement, which reads to prepare global citizens to live productive lives of vitality and purpose. As you probably know, Centenary is on the cusp of celebrating its bicentennial. We've been doing this for almost 200 years, and in for more than 120 years, as David mentioned, we, athletics has been a part of that story. Centenary's athletic history uh, officially began, I'm told I wasn't here, on December 21st, 1894, um, when the first team fielded by the college. Anybody know what their nickname was? And I didn't either. Um, the Ironsides. 
the Ironsides squared off in their first contest against Louisiana State University. The score and circumstances of that game are recorded for posterity in our archives along with other similar contests over the course of the next half century. But it has now been more than 50 years since Centenary fans have been able to enjoy the sport that those Ironsides first played in 1894. And those of you who really know your centenary and or sports trivia will tell you, tell you, of course, the Ironsides played football. And we haven't done that here for quite some time. But today, the wait is over. Today, I am so excited and so proud to announce that Centenary College will bring back college football to Shreveport, Bossier City by the fall of 2024. <laughs> thanks to our outstanding Centenary Spirit teams. As you may or may not know, these are... A uh, new addition to campus just in the last, uh, should be two years, but of course last year with, uh, with the disease that shall not be named, uh, they were uh, unable to perform. They are such a great addition to campus. Thank you all so much. And Skeeter the Catahoula! I really appreciate it. Um, I would invite all of you back if you're interested on Saturday at about 1130 at the Shell. We're going to be having a big pep rally with the students and student athletes. This is actually the single busiest class time. So most of our students and faculty are in class and these folks got a break. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but uh, come back on Saturday to, uh, for a, a great celebration of our student athletes. Today represents one of the final steps in a careful process rooted in our current strategic plan that among other initiatives called for exploring new athletic opportunities. In conjunction with our upcoming bicentennial in 2025, Centenary is embarking on a number of capital and curricular projects to support students, 
professors and programs, we will be transforming Centenary College for its third century. I'm so grateful for the enthusiastic support we've already received from the Board of Trustees and the Shreveport Bossier City community. In particular, I am thrilled to announce that we've already received gifts of over $1.25 million to support football. We will, of course, continue to raise money to make the necessary improvements to the facilities we're enjoying today. Mayo Field, the home to the ladies and gents soccer team and the gents lacrosse team. We look forward to competing across the SCAC region with our conference opponents and our peer institutions from other conferences. But most of all, to hosting exciting football Saturdays here at Centenary's College in the heart of Shreveport. I'd like to ask David Orr to come back on stage. I've already blown the program because I wasn't supposed to unveil the helmet yet, but um, <laughs> so uh, consider it unveiled and David's going to come tell you a little bit more uh, about the football program. We can, we can always do it again, but... <laughs> Were you uh, like surprised? <laughs> well, I'd like to give you a few more details about our next steps. Uh, we are beginning a national search immediately for a head football coach. We look forward to potentially making the announcement of our new head football coach early in 2022. Um, as President Holloman mentioned, Mayo Field, where we are right now, uh, will become the home for the Centenary football in addition to continuing to host men's and women's soccer and men's lacrosse. Centenary will explore several conference affiliations for football and will begin recruiting at the local, state, and regional level as soon as our head coach is hired. We look forward to sharing all of these developments with the Centenary and Shreveport Bossier City communities over the coming months. I would now like to ask Mr. Archer Frierson, Chairman of the Centenary Board of Trustees, to say a few words on behalf of the board. Oh, you all already wrote my comments for me. I didn't realize that. They're probably shorter than you. I'm going to use these. <laughs> thank you, David. And thank you, Dr. Holloman, for delivering that wonderful news today. We, uh, it's been difficult for the past uh, six to eight weeks to keep it a secret. So thank you for relieving us of that responsibility. In addition, thanks to also to both of you for the steady leadership you provide as we take this big step forward for Centenary. Thank you. Thank you in advance. I would also like to offer a special word of thanks to the group of civic leaders that served for almost a year as members of the Football Feasibility Task Force. Most particularly, we owe, owe a debt of, great de de of deep gratitude to the chair of that task force, my fellow trustee, Ross Barrett. Ross? That group, acting at the request of the Board of Trustees, examined the question of reinstituting football at Centenary from all angles, conducted numerous interviews with athletic directors at other D3 colleges, and performed a thorough job of due diligence in evaluating the financial resources needed for Centenary to field a football team once again. Without their commitment and Ross's leadership, we would not be gathered here today. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I can declare to you that we are extremely excited about the future of Centenary College and firmly believe that this decision will result in positive growth all across the college, not only in athletics, but also in the social and cultural life of the entire campus community. This decision is essentially about improving the quality of student life, but it's also about offering a wholesome activity that we hope the entire shreveport Bossier community will embrace and enjoy. <clears throat> Fifty years ago, believe it or not, I played college football. <laughs> I know that's hard to believe. I had the great pleasure of playing D3 football in my alma mater, a small liberal arts college in Virginia, much like Centenary. And I've always considered myself the beneficiary of that opportunity. 
because it played a significant part in my overall college experience. Believe me, having a football team playing on campus generates excitement and brings the college community together. I invite you to join me in the stands right behind you at Mayo Field in a couple of years when the Centenary Gents team, football team takes the field once again. And if you want to get a seat, obviously you need to come early. <laughs> Please join us in a couple of years for that first game. After all, we've got an unbeaten streak of over 50 years to defend. <laughs> Go Gents! Thank you, and it's now my privilege to introduce a great friend of mine, a great friend of Centenary, the mayor of Shreveport, Adrian Perkins. So it is only fitting that I come up after the cheerleaders because I always pride myself in being the biggest cheerleader for the city of Shreveport. So I'm so happy to come up. They probably can do better backflips than me and cartwheels, but you know, I'm always looking to learn as well. And uh, I was super excited to come out here today, but I got to tell you, I'm a little saddened now to see that um, uh, President Ho Holloman has on a centenary jersey and I didn't get a jersey. It's, it's, it's as well fitting as their jersey is. Right. <laughs> we can make it happen, but I'm not sure you want it that way. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at you breathing and I'm a little, I'm a little worried. Uh, no. uh, this, is, this is a big day for our city. Our city absolutely loves sports. I mean, if you can visit any kind of softball field around the city in the summertime, you'll see our kids playing. Uh, we, have, we have Coach Tucker here as well. Uh, who has our, our pro basketball team here, and particularly football. Uh, right now, uh, my high school, I'm an alumnus of Captain Shreve High School, uh, has one loss. We're in the top 20 in the state. I believe uh, C.E. Bird as well is in the top 20. They have one loss, I, I think. I got to verify that. Uh, and if you look to the NFL and see the ranks of Shreveporters uh, that are in the NFL currently, if you look to the events that we have here with the Independence Bowl, uh, this city really loves sports, we really love football, uh, but the most important part about today is that this city really loves Centenary. So being able to, absolutely. So being able to join those two things today means the world to me is gonna mean the world to the city as I just look over the crowd and see all the uh, Centenary graduates and see the impact that you all have had on our city, it makes me very proud. Mr. Rohn is in the audience, I gotta shout him out. Uh, he's lent his daughter to the city of Shreveport. She's one of our best workers in Charity Throne. Uh, so very, very happy to have her, but very, very happy to have that impact of all the centenary graduates on our community. Former centenary student and employee in the office of the president. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there you go. And we can, go, we can go on and on, but no, super happy to be a part of this ceremony today. Super happy uh, for Centenary today, and I'm really looking forward to Centenary doing even more in the community, which at times I don't even think is possible. So congratulations to everybody, and thank you for having me. I have a new, uh, the mayor says he'll put it on later. Uh, I have a newfound appreciation for people who wear Spanx. Um, uh, I want to, I want to thank everyone for coming. I want to thank especially our uh, friends from the local media who have, have come out. We're going to give you lots and lots of opportunities to be here at Centenary. Our men's basketball team opened up their season last night with a win. Our women's basketball team opened up their season last Friday, coming from 13 points down in the fourth quarter to win. Uh, conference. <laughs> the reigning conference champion in men's soccer and many, many other uh, uh, dis distinctions. And so uh, please, please come back and see us. Thanks to everyone for coming. Please stay and socialize. Uh, there's some refreshments over on the side table, and you can uh, view some of the items from, from Centenary's history. And if you're really curious, when you get back to your uh, home or office, you can Google Centenary, and you'll find uh, we are still in the NCAA football record books for what is sometimes referred to as the strangest game ever played. Uh, so that's, that's your homework uh, for tonight. Once again, thank you. We're so excited. Forward, forward, Centenary.